jump off. I've been gone for a minute, now I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club, case something jumps off. You can back up for the high, but the pump off. In the graveyard is where you get stumped off. All we wanna do is party and buy everybody at the bar card. Black Barbie dressed in Bagar. Hey beauties, it's your girl Sharice Bell here, back again with another one. So I'm here today to show you how to do this bomb ass cut crease look. So if your dolls like this look, then keep watching. Starting off, I'm concealing my eyes using this number one concealer in the country, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Rich. So now blending out my concealer using this dark spot correcting brush from Real Techniques. Most important thing right now, we are highlighting our brow bone using this Max Pigment Melon. <music> to lay down our foreground transition shadows beauties, we are using this BH Cosmetic Number no. 7 Blending Brush from the Smoke and Mirror Collection. For our first transition shadow, we are popping that right under our brow bone. We use it from the Naked Heat Palette by Urban Decay. We are using the shadow Low Below. So 
to make sure that we're creating a beautiful gradient effect for our transition colors before we cut our crease, we are now going back in using this small blending brush from the BH Cosmetics Smoke and Mirror Collection number 8. And we're just popping back in cayenne to give everything a gradient beautiful effect. has become my favorite during this tutorial. So now we're going to be going in and intensifying our cayenne shadow a bit using this shadow called Zahora from the Sahara 2 palette by Julius. using this NYX eyeshadow base and Blanca. A white eyeshadow base is always good when cutting your crease to make sure that your lid colors and crease colors show up vibrantly, especially when you're going for a bold, dramatic eye look. trick I learned while falling in love with this brush from Real Techniques. I learned that instead of letting your eyeshadow base dry when you cut your crease, to give it less drying time I should say, you can always go back in and blend out your cut crease concealer or your eyeshadow base using a spot correcting brush or concealing brush just to blend it out before you get ready to put down your crease and lid. Beauties 2018, we're all about blending. So I'm just going in using my BH Cosmetic number eight blending brush, and I'm just blurring out my cut crease lines a bit before we lay down those colors. Yes, yes, yes. That cut crease is cut in the fine. Let's pop in this shadow color. Inside our Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place, we're going to be popping in the center lid color, Makita. And it is a beautiful shimmer violet
poking at the corner of our eyelid there to give this nice cut crease a smoky effect. And to do so, we are using this BH Cosmetic brush number six, and it is an angle shadow brush from the Smoke and Mirror Collection. To do so, we are using number five from the BH Cosmetic Smoke and Mirror Color. Now I told y'all 2018 was all about blending, so now I'm going back in and those colors that I popped in my lid, I'm picking up the same previous brushes that I used to pop those shadows in and I'm just blending out any corners on that lid to give that lid a nice gradient transition effect. You want everything to look like it's going from pink to purple to smoke to that defined cut.
Gaga, yes, lashes are a must. So we're gonna be using these lashes from Ayalure and they are called Exaggerate because I love to exaggerate an eye look. And doing so off camera. This year is all about luminizing and glow. So I'm going to be using this Born to Glow by NYX. And I'm going to use that as a luminizer before I lay down my foundation. One thing for sure that I know that I love about this Fenty Beauty Foundation is that you can build it up to be as much coverage as possible. inside of our Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and we are using some different highlighters today because usually I'll use Daydream and 143 so I'm going in and I'm using Glow Glitter and I'm using Kitty Cat as my blush a chiseled cheekbone honey so I always after I put my highlighters down go back and I define my cheekbone it's all about your cheekbones popping now y'all know I ain't going out like this this lace got to be laid down, hair got to be combed, and honey, you got to be on fleek. Powder puff and brush, honey, yes. So it's time to do our lip. So I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal Inflatable Lip Paint. 
I was so indecisive on whether I wanted to do a new pink lip or if I wanted to do a wine plum lip. So, of course, I chose the darker lip. I always do darker lip colors. So the color that I am using is called Smothering Eclipse by L'Oreal Inflatable Paints. And it is a metallic lip color. It is also number 334 of the L'Oreal Inflatable Lip Paint. Now some people like to line their lip when applying their lip colors, but I can pretty much get my lip lined nice and smoothly when using these applicator brushes that come inside of the lip paints. So I don't really need a lip liner with these. And these are just like lip stains almost. So you can line your lip first, outline it, and then go in and fill your lip in to get a perfect This completes our makeup tutorial for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. As well, hit the notification button so that you are notified whenever Sharice, here by Sharice Bell, drops another video.